Okay, it's time to break patterns with the D command. And I'm loading a sample, and this time I'm going to go slowly, so F O C will do. And I'm putting a melody here, like this. Then I'm increasing the length of the song to 2, going to the next position of the song, and playing a new pattern called Pattern 1. Let's hit play. And I'm going to put the same melody here, only I'm going to reverse it like this. Then I'm going back to the first position again, hitting play. Now I'm going to put the D command on row number 7 like this. Now D00 means that this row number 7 will be played, but the next row will be row number 0 of the next pattern. Let's hear it. And as you know, the row numbers here are in decimal, so you need the decimal value for the D command as well. So I'll go back here, hit in play. And I'll change the D00 to D03 here. So this means break this pattern, jump to the next position of the song, and play from row number 3. It sounds like this. Alright, so let me go back here, and I'm going to put D04 on this row. Now, this is a global command, so it shouldn't matter in which track you put this command. But since I'm using the same command on the same row, what will happen? Well, ProTracker has a priority system, so if it encounters two interfering commands, the rightmost command will be used, so D03 in this case will be overwritten by the D04. So listen. So I'm not telling you to use two D commands in one row, I'm just saying it's important to know the different priorities of the different tracks. I'll talk more about this in the next episode. Okay. So now, I would say the most common use for the D command is for breaking patterns in intros to songs, but it has other uses as well. I'll show you an example. I'll load a module called D command. And this pattern has a shuffle groove, but as you can see, I'm not using any F commands, so this is what will happen. Because of the shuffle groove, this pattern is only 48 rows long, so I need to use the D command in order to break it. D. And since this is my only pattern, D00 here will just jump to the first row of this pattern, over and over again. Listen. The D command can also be used to play patterns backwards. Now this is totally useless, but since it looks kinda cool, I'll teach you about that in the next episode, since it's best to do this together with the B command. So thank you for tracking, please comment, and I'll see you in the next episode.